Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga in 2K existence. And look, man, as you can see my record, I'm pretty nice at this game and I do not play a lot. Keep in mind, I play next gen too. I've hit level 40 on next gen um, every season. I'm pretty sure I've never hit 40 on current gen. This vid is for current and next gen, okay? I'm going to show you how to shoot like a god on every single build. I'm gonna give you jump shots for every single build, the best badges for every single build. So you wanna make sure you watch this full video all the way through. It's, it's for comp geeks, park geeks, casual geeks, rec geeks, all you bum n****. I'm telling you, this video will save you. So do not skip, I'm telling you. Be sure to hit that like button, my boy. Hit that like button if that AD is a hoe and um, you're somewhat excited for 2K23. But anywho, as you can see my record, I actually have never lost on current gen, right? Keep in mind, I stream all my games, okay? I have not lost in the stage. I have not even lost in park, my not lost in rec. Um, I've not lost, bro. I've, I have a hundred win percent. I've lagged out, okay? Um, comp geeks pull up on me all the time while I'm streaming. Some of your favorite YouTubers stay up on me, so I'm not just playing randoms. I don't have a logo. I'm streaming. Niggas always come to dick eat me, and I'll be barely playing and still whoop on them. So I clearly know things that other people don't. You see, I got a 73 point percent without trying for it, always going for crazy shots. Okay, so first, man, what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to do this Gatorade Sports Science Institute bullshit, okay? Um, if you guys did not know, you need Gatorade, okay? Um, especially if you're a guard. You could get away with it, but I'm saying if you just want to improve yourself and make the game way easier... They really be taxing niggas on this hoe. Like, that nigga Mike Wing is really a bitch. Y'all niggas need to flame his hat ass on Twitter. That's why y'all need to follow me on Twitter. Always attack that nigga. I do not care. Fuck that nigga. That's the only way they gonna change shit, bro. They made it to where Gatorade affects your shot speed. How much stamina you have affects your shot speed and everything else, okay? So if you have more Gatorade... You can do so much more. It bails you out so much more. It helps so much more. And you have to do it because if someone else pulls up on you with more Gatorade, they have an advantage over you. So, I mean, y'all can take it for what you want. You ain't got to go OD. But what this right here does, if you do it right, like me, because I am a genius. Y'all let me know if y'all get better scores than me, man. Y'all let me know if y'all can get better scores than the Swan. <laughs> let me know your uh i test the uh, whatever what, what test was it I don't, I don't know let me know your scores for this gatorade sports science down below but um you need this and you can get 25 percent off in gatorade let me show you right here man okay this is very important i recommend all y'all niggas learn how to vc glitch and vc glitch all day look it up um vc glitch with niggas on the 10k court scam 2k fuck them niggas fuck the devs i don't care um but as you can see man uh i got a big discount so overall this helps i know this end of the year but you know next year you can know know what to do you know every year is like same type of shit okay so now that you know about that let me show you another thing okay this is for you old head bitches this is for you old head bitches. Look, look at my baby, man. You, you see my girl right there? Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all pussy 2K niggas can never. Y'all can go ahead and add me on uh my PSN too if you want. But um, and I'll add y'all back. Um, listen, guys, your controller, okay? This is very important, bro. I've been playing a lot of rec recently with randoms, and look, bro take off trigger effect for 2k i don't care you could keep on vibration i fuck with vibration but that trigger effect shit you're throwing yourself off you're intimidating yourself the shit is ridiculous there's so many of you old heads i hear your controller it's <laughs> bro if i can hear your controller something's something's wrong i don't know if you niggas is full food because you like dick or something i don't know like i don't want nothing vibrating in my hands like that but it's like the controller's like and like niggas barely moving bro 
You're going to fuck up your whole timing for everything. You're going to be intimidated, scared. That's why so many of you old heads and young kids are so scared. You have to take this shit off. I'm telling you, play rec, talk to niggas. You'll hear their controller. It's crazy, especially on P5. Y'all current gen niggas, y'all broke gen niggas. Y'all might not know about that, but uh, yeah, man. Because you, you might not hear their controller, but on next gen, it's crazy. Okay, so as you can see right here, Maybe with Gem Rat, y'all might not need a uh, Gatorade. You know, I mean, it will still help if you got Gatorade. You know, you can only get the double bar if you get all three, and which is such a scam. They really be finessing us. But, you know, I'm going to try hard. Niggas pull up on me. You know, you, you don't have to be like that. You're playing way less comp than me. But um, for, like, the real tryhards and, you know, like, you got to do it, dog. But the Gem Rat shit... If you don't do your weekly work workouts and get like the plus fours on your shit, I recommend getting Gym Rat in the goddamn, uh, in my career so you don't have to keep doing the weekly workouts. And this goes for next year too. Keep doing the weekly workouts every time and going through that, all that. If you don't know how to always do the weekly workouts correct, um, I'm sure you could look up a video on YouTube and then it lasts for a week. But, um, I just go ahead and grab my player in uh, my career. I know a lot of y'all on uh, next gen, y'all niggas be, um, y'all use these like rooftops and all that type of shit to grind your player. But what you should actually do so you don't have to keep doing weekly workouts is you should grind them in my career. Then you don't have to keep doing weekly workouts anymore. Like, I, I think that's way better to me. But I mean, it's more bearable to play, um, you know, the other bots and, and shit like that. Now look, you are gonna wanna get your hot spots, bro, for every build. Once you get your hot spots, shooting becomes way easier in this game. I promise you, bro. Way easier. It's a world of difference. Okay? Check and make sure you got your hot spots. Another thing, look, you want your shot meter off, okay? You only want it on for free throw or no shot meter, you know, if you play rec or something. But um you want your shot meter off, okay? Too many of you bums keep using a shot meter. Stop. When you have no shot meter, it bails you out way more. You get a huge boost, makes the game more unfair, and makes shooting way easier. Even for you old heads, all that, that shit does not help you, bro. I'm telling you, this is the easiest shooting 2K. Take it off. Upgrade yourself, my nigga. Seriously, grow up, my nigga. Anytime you see a nigga with a shot meter, he's ass. Like, come on, bro. Get plugged in. Tell, tell all your friends. Now, I personally like to have the shot feedback on, but some people like to not have it on. Now, this shit right here, some people like to have this shit off. I like to have it on, but they believe it gives you less delay and more consistent green lights. And that's also with the shot feedback, too. But um, I actually fuck with it, bro. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think it makes a, a major difference like that, to be honest. It could though, because in a lot of games when you have extra you have extra uh cosmetics or things like that, it could add a delay to your nigga type shit. Now look, you wanna use you wanna learn the feeling of your jump shot and kind of remember what it looks like. I don't use cues. I go off a of feeling, even though there's different lag delays, you have to train yourself for the lag delays. But this 2K is pretty like easy. Go ahead, sit here, invite someone to your mind court. This is how you do this right here, right? Then you go to play with friends. This is how you practice uh, your shooting. Now, you could do the ball machine, right? Uh, this ain't the best method, but to just to learn your jump shot, right? Just to feel it. See which one you like best. Before I show you these jump shots, see which one you like best right here. See which ones you like best right here. And just, 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 just keep shooting, you know? And see which one you like best, which one you can green more with, which one you can hit more whites with, but it's, it's not that big a deal. What's really better is when you 1v1 the computer and get shots off type shit. That's where you can really test shit. But yeah, you this is how you do it. A lot of people, a lot of y'all don't know this. This is also how you can practice your dribble moves. And um, yeah, you know. Okay, so I'm going to help y'all with y'all badges, man. How you should run them. This is mainly for a PG, okay? The typical meta play shot build, okay? 
You're going to want to go to Hot Zone Hunter on gold. You don't need it on Hall of Fame. Go ahead. Keep it gold. If you are shorter, okay, if you're a shorter play shot, you're going to want Mismatch Expert Hall of Fame. If you about like uh, 6'4 type shit, um, a height where it's not three inches or below like the typical lock, then you might not want Mismatch on like Hall of Fame. Stop and pop, you definitely want on Hall of Fame. Okay, um, or maxed out to whatever your build is. Sniper, go ahead, put that shit on Hall of Fame. Lucky, you always want bronze on every build you use. Now, if you if you get Hall of Fame blinders, go uh, Hall of Fame. I hear gold don't really help at all, so it might be no beneficial to put it on if, if you only have max gold badges. But Hall of Fame blinders is top notch. You know what? Let me show y'all how the actual order, okay? If you actually know how to crab, niggas, this is, you know, right here, okay? This is like the second best shooting badge. Then you're probably going to put this Hall of Fame, this Hall of Fame, this Hall of Fame, bronze, bronze. Then I like to make gold chef. You could put Hall of Fame. And I like to put bronze circus threes on current gen because you're gonna get some fading shots now for next gen bro circus threes is hall of fame i mean if y'all need help for next gen y'all can basically understand where i'm going but circus threes is hall of fame on next gen but y'all get where i'm going so y'all can transfer this for y'all next gen players like y'all will under y'all know y'all know what it is but um chef i definitely have a hall of fame too for uh next gen you get more shooting badges on next gen and then I would like run green machine on like bronze type shit. But this is, you know, this is how you should order your badges overall. And like if you have the lower three type shit and like lower badges, you will definitely want to have clutch shooter on like silver. Okay. Overall. Okay. Now let me show y'all the best badges for spot up lockdowns. And then I'm going to do poppers. You definitely want corner maxed. You definitely want catch and shoot maxed. You definitely want sniper max. Then you want lucky seven bronze. Yeah, I would run your shit like this, okay? Some of y'all have gold badges, so um, you might be able to swing shit more overall. But um, yeah, this is like the bases. These need to be maxed, bro, okay? Um, a lot of y'all be having blinders on, green machine, fucking max dead eye fucking relax bro like max green no you're not getting that many shots up bro tighten up get it together my nigga now this would be for a popper man now you're gonna want gold hot zone uh maxed out sniper maxed out catch and shoot lucky seven silver bronze stop and pop then I put it like this and then I would either make gold and these are more important gold chef or gold limitless spot up whichever one you know how to activate the most and to activate this you have to be at the hash so yeah man so if you not really like that you know yeah um this is like off the dribble usually right but um yeah bro you know I would rock shit like this okay a lot of everyone i play with always has wrong badges okay now here is the best jump shots man let me go ahead and show you this is my number one favorite jump shot right here set shot 25 release 148 release 49 okay this is super uncontestable you might not think it is it's the most uncontested fastest jump shot in the game I'll use it on all builds if I was you, but especially guard builds. And um, if you can handle the speed, which is pretty easy, bro. If you use all the tips I told you, it's pretty easy. And another, the most major tip, bro, is it don't matter if something has a bigger green window, if something has a higher make percent. If you get your shot off fast enough to where there's no contest, you keep the origins of what that shot really is when you're... When your shot gets contested, the all the effectiveness gets a little nerfed, right? So if you get that bitch off clean, 
it has a way higher percent of, of going in, bro. Like, seriously. And this shot can't be contested. Now, this jump shot right here, I would put probably second best. A lot of people use three. A lot of people use set shot 25. More people use three. But I believe this is a, the best version of three. Best, nice releases. And super fast. These are the fastest jump shots in the game. These two shots will get you right, my nigga. Uncontestable shit. Now, I'm going to show you another fast shot that could even be better for you than Rose or Set Shot 25, and that is Derrick Rose, Release 148, LaMarcus Aldridge. And, um, yeah, this is the blending I got. Test it out, man. These hoes is super fast, and they're nice. Rose might be better than all of them. Well, I don't think it's better than Set Shot, but it could be better than three for you, okay? And Set Shot, you might not fuck with it. But I'm telling you, man, these three shots, you will be good, my nigga. Be sure to test them out next year, too. 2K don't change up much. Um, usually shit that's good in the previous years be good next years. That's why everyone got all these new tips that I put out years ago. Crazy, right? <laughs> no credit. <laughs> now, here's a slower shot for spot ups and even guards, bro. I absolutely love this jump shot. This is how I got all my stats on courage and bro. I was not using set shot 25 or jump shot three. The jump shot is slow compared, but everything's green. Everything's in. Everything is in. It is the most easiest timing jump shot. I really think poppers and uh niggas in the corner. I really think this is for y'all, especially if you can't handle the faster jump shots. It just goes in, bro everywhere i'm at i'm telling you bro it's so easy to shoot with this shot it just goes in but it's a little slower you know um i i like it it's funny niggas always talking shit and all that but bitch go in eh? and we got good old reliable right here the curry this hoe goes in a lot too and you make a ton of whites on it it has probably the highest make percent out of all shots overall and with like enough speed and shit but um i put set shot seven above this so these are the top five jump shots man make sure y'all subscribe if you're new hit that like button man y'all let me know how y'all feel about this but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.